All new at noon though this Tuesday, we are learning more now about plans for the forthcoming session of the Rhode Island General Assembly. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello laying out the priorities as a challenger for his seat is weighing in, and we are examining how all of this will affect Rhode Islanders. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joining us live in Cranston with the new information from the mobile newsroom. Brian, Speaker Mattiello spoke for a little less than an hour this morning about his legislative priorities for 2017. But before any of that can happen, he would need to win an election this November here in Cranston. He's being challenged by Republican Steve Frias, who says it's time to clean up the state house. He points to two scandals with a uh, members of Mattiello's leadership team last year. Now, Mattiello says his constituents don't hold him responsible for other people's personal failures. But in this news conference this morning, Mattiello said tax relief is top of the list for him. In particular, the car tax, which he says needs to be reduced and eliminated eventually. And he says he's prioritizing that because of feedback from his constituents. Let's hear from him and challenger Steve Frias on the car tax. And they've told me they don't like the car tax. It's regressive. It's unfair and they just don't like it. So Nick, the representative from District 15, is going to utilize all of the power of the speakership to help reduce with the ultimate goal of eliminating the car tax. I believe in repealing and lowering the car, first of all, lowering and repealing the car tax. And what I have to say about this is simple. He's had three years in power, three years as Speaker of the House. He could have done it already, and he didn't. And Frias says he is confident that his constituents want change. Mattiello, of course, disagrees. This is one of the more conservative-leaning districts in the state. Now, there were a number of other topics for next year's legislative session discussed this morning. We will bring you all of those in a full report at, uh, on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. And also, Ted Nisi will have a full report on WPRI.com, including the other taxes Mattiello would like to cut next year. Reporting live in Cranston with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.